Welcome to the playback. Come on in, come on in. I'm going to share this to a few uh, groups and going to try to post my Okay, I don't know why it won't let me pin it, but it's there. You guys need it. So, tonight is night three of 30 Days of Life. I'm going to ink the coffee mug, which is in my bubble wrap here. And then we are going to use the Humble, Be Humble and Kind with the Bee, Queen Bee. This um, was a retired... Um, transfer. It came back, it's um, once a year they bring back what they call the vault and they take five of the most popular transfers and they bring them back. Um, it is still available on my website. It'll be under the special sales tab. Let me bring it down. Um, so that one and then on the chalkboard, so I'm going to use ink and then I'm going to show you the chalk on these little cute little chalkboards I got at um, Target. We use our little um, Santa approved deliver before Christmas. Looks like a little postage stamp or postage stamp. Um, yeah, maybe like a postage stamp or a postcard type. I had wrapped these up in bubble wrap so they didn't get broke while they were in storage, so. Save that bubble wrap. <laughs> Love me bubble wrap. Okay, this is just a plain black coffee mug. And then we are going to do the B. Let me get my inks up here. Put this to the side. And my inks are all in our little beautiful carrying case we have that Chalk Couture came out with this time, this year. Carries inks or paste. Okay. My inks are over here. I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to use the Bumblebee yellow. And Shimmer Copper. to get my bath of water so I can put my okay, so. I'm just going to put my little tub of water there on the chair next to me so I can because when you with the ink, I need them to go right into water right away, where the ch the chalk ones they can their water soluble, so I can 
leave them out and then do them later. But with the ink, they may dry in there and ruin the transfer. So, so I got to cut this one up. I already wrote on the back where they what goes where. But this is my first time using this one. I ordered another one because I like this one so much. This one in my Wicked Chickens laid deviled eggs. And then there's one that's, uh, and then it has this next to it that says, oh, here it is. This, this one's one of my favorites. This one, too, it says, Wicked, oops, Wicked Chickens lay deviled eggs and, oh, get this right, Vicky. Kitchen's clothes because this heifer's had it. Those, that one's available on my website too, the same, it's out of the vault. So you want to go into the uh, specials tab. And I never cut my back, my backer, I just cut the transfer. You'll see some uh, designers they will cut. Oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. <gasps> I, wow. Forgive me. Okay. Um, they will cut the all the backer and everything. So they'll have all these separate little pieces. I like to keep it whole. That way when I go to put them back on, it's all on one thing. And then I can just stick it back into a little sleeve that it came into. And it's easier to store. Keeps them, um, keeps them safe so they don't get all bent up and ruined. I love that sound. I say that every time. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but I love that sound. Doing transfers on glass or porcelain, slate, mirrors, um, things like that, even wood, I always buzz. If you don't, what happens is it will stick tightly and when you go to pull it up, you will end up pulling in on the transfer. And these are transfers, they're not stencils. Where you see the humble and kind and you see my hand see there that is a manually fine uh silk screen so if you've got it if you don't fuzz it and you stick it on there it gets stuck and you can pull it it can distort the silk screen so when you go to use it the next time you're not going to get those beautiful crisp lines that you normally would i want to put the b on first so i don't know why i'm fuzzing that one Now, with this, normally I would, I'm huh, going to make, no, I'm going to, I was, was going to do the B and the, the copper, but I think with the cup being black and this being, the B being yellow, it would be perfect. And I got fingerprints all over this, so I need to kind of wipe it off. one thing about working with black it shows everything it's like my glasses I gotta breathe on it and then wipe it off okay And then you just want to smooth it out. I'm just smoothing it out where the silk screens are, making sure there's no little bubble in there. Make sure it's stuck down because I don't want any bleeding. And sometimes you can see, if you look at an angle, you can tell that there's a bubble in there. And if I hadn't looked at an angle, I would have went to ink it and then I wouldn't have known there was a bubble in it until it was almost too late. Now with ink, I can 
I'm inking on like porcelain like this or glass, then if I make a mistake, I can pull it up and wipe it off. It's going to wipe off. Where if I got it on fabric, you can't do that. Once it's on there, it's on there. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got a little bend right there, but it's in the <clears throat> it's in the gray area. Or it's gray. What color is this? Teal. It's in the teal area, so you don't. It, that doesn't matter. It's just in where the bee is, where you can see the black through the, the bee through the black and everything. That's where you need to make sure you don't have a bend in or a bubble. Okay. So, I'm going to use my yellow ink. Ink is always at a perfect consistency. You don't have to stir it up. And I'm going to use a mini squeegee. And I'm just going to, oops. And I just said, Good thing I looked, because there we go. Got that out of there. There was a bubble right at the edge. Of the silk screen. Okay, let's try this again. And I'm doing it on glass, I do a very thin layer. Because what you're doing is you're putting ink on top of the porcelain. It's not going to adhese into it like fabric does. When you put it on fabric, it just it seeps into the cloth. With this, it doesn't. It's going to be sitting on top of it. So you want to do a very thin layer. And that way, it's less likely, even after you heat set it, to be scraped off. Because if you get it too thick, then it's, it stands up, and, and then you put it in the dishwasher and stuff, and it hits other cups or whatever's next to it and other dishes, then you can get, uh, it can start to wear it off, because it's just like taking your nail and scraping it off. And so, just remember when you're doing porcelain to do it thin. When you're doing shirts, don't put it thick, but you don't have to put it so thin. Okay, that looks about right. So, oops, I'm always getting it wrong. And in, out of the screen. So, take this. And here we go. Oh, yeah. I put this in the water. Now, normally when I pull up, I'm doing chocolate so it won't curl. When you're doing uh, porcelain, it sticks so hard that even if you pull it straight up, it can curl. It didn't curl a whole lot because I went slowly. So um, we'll get that cleaned up and then... If it curls too much, you can always put it back on the background and stick something on it and let it sit like overnight, and that'll help loosen it so it doesn't. Okay, we'll get this, everything backwards though there. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? B looks awesome. So what'll happen is I will heat set this. I'm gonna dry it with the dryer here so, so I can use the bumble and kind on the backside. But what's in, this will sit overnight, and then tomorrow, or actually I probably won't do it till this weekend when I have time, is I will turn my oven on to 350. Um, I will put, the, put this on a um, cookie sheet. I will put it in the cold oven, turn the oven on to 350. <coughs> once it's up to heat, once it heats up and it, your oven's up to heat, it's... Uh, I usually leave them in there for about 40 minutes. 
um, and then I turn the oven off and then I leave the cup in there until it, the oven and everything is cooled off. That will heat set it. Okay? I'm going to turn this on on me. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of um, getting some of that taffiness off on it so when I lay this down, if it catches some of that, it's not going to pull it up or smear it. And with the ink, I usually use warm air, not hot, but warm. Okay. All right, I'm not paying attention here. Rebecca Handler. I don't want this to be humble and kind's gonna be too big. Dang. So I'm thinking Queen B. <clears throat> I'm thinking I can't talk because I have a frog in my throat. Okay, pause that up. Bear with me, I gotta try and get this even. <laughs> Every time during a live, if I'm going to mess up, it's going to be during a live. If I'm sitting here doing this all by myself, quietly, nothing. As soon as I'm on a live. But that makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm going to put this in that water too. Close up my yellow ink. And I'm going to use the copper, the shimmer copper on this. Again, a thin layer. Some of this excess, I got a way too much there. And I 
I got some off of the transfer onto the thing. Oh, I'll show you how to fix that. Up. You can see where I got some off on the transfer. Not a problem. Just take a paper towel, wipe that right off because it's still wet. And then I'm going to put this little crown up here too. Oh, I think I threw my squeegee in there. Wasn't done. Silly me. Good thing I have more. Okay, try not to get so much on there this time. Queen B and then the B on the other side. So I will let this sit and then this weekend I will put it in the oven and heat set it. And there you go. Put this over here. Okay, and then I will get this part cleaned up and then we will do our chalk and you can see how the chalk works. away. This. Get my ink thing. Ink dryer. Oh, there goes the blow dryer. Doki. Okay. okay, so this is not a chalk tour board. This is a board I got at the Target. So we are definitely going to uh, is oh, North Pole oh North Pole postmark so it is a postmark so like I said these are not stencils these are silk screens and where you see my hand moving through the open area there it's not open it's actually a silk screen area <clears throat> 
So when we put our inks or our paste over the top of it on our surface and we pull up, the inks or the paste stay on the surface in that design. So that's how we get our design. Okay, try to get this as centered as I can. It's pretty centered. Oh, right in front of me. It was hiding in plain sight, that's why you couldn't see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use our bright white. You can do any, you can do multiple colors if you wanted to. I just like the way that the bright white pops off of the chalkboards. And this will look, you know, more like a postage stamp that way. Okay. Just stir this up and make sure it's all nice and where it needs to be. Paste, I always stir up because they, I, if they sit and it's one I haven't used for a while, they can get dry so they're really thick where I need it to be not so thin. That's a little too thick. Let us distilled water, a couple spritz, stir it up. It's just about there. I want it to be like a cake batter consistency. You'll hear some designers say uh, like yogurt or sour cream. The sour cream's not too bad, but yogurt, depending on what yogurt you get, because like a lot of the um, yogurts nowadays are really thick, so this is perfect for me right here. Then we just load up our squeegee, and this is a small squeegee. Okay, and it's just a silicone angle. It's got an angle on it, squeegee, so it makes it easier to put on there. And just drag it through the silk screen. You're all over the transfer. It gets into that silk screen area. And you can turn it around. It doesn't matter when you're doing a Paste, if you go up, down, sideways, different angles, the only time it's going to matter is if you're going and you and you see, you go along and you there's a bubble and you're like, uh, then you want to make sure that you're going the same direction over that bubble. Don't go every which way because it can cause it to bleed up underneath. So if you tend to go like, if they have found a bubble right here, I would go straight down. Or if I was going this way and found it, go straight across the same way. Don't go like this and then like this. So. But usually you don't have much trouble with the bubbles because you, you, know, you look, make sure that they're not there before you start. Every now and then you miss one, the way it is. And then if it does bleed, it's chalk, so you can just wipe it off, start over. And that's the great thing about these. I can do this design for Christmas, and then when February starts to roll around, I can put water on it, wipe it off, and do something for Valentine's. Always pull up and down or across and then straight up. Don't pull corner to corner because that can uh, pull on your transfer or your silk screen. There we go. There you go. And you will notice it you are, it looks like it maybe it like on the wavy part where it looks like it may have missed, like it didn't go through, 
that's actually in the silk screen itself. It's made that way to, to look like it's got a distressed look on it. So, so you can just hang that up in your office. You can hang that, you know, perfect for like um, kids that have teacher appreciation or Christmas coming up. If you want to, you know, make you don't have to do this design actually, but you can do whatever design. But you know, just get some little chalkboards from wherever or whatever, and your kids, your kids can do this. Your kids can do this. this is water soluble, non toxic. Um, my kids, obviously, they're grown, but and I don't have any grandkids. But I have a lot of designer friends that have smaller children. And even at the age of three, two, I, you know, you kind of have to help them by putting the transfer down and, you know, keep an eye on them. But, you know, you load up the squeegee and they can move it around. They can do that. And they're so excited to see what they, you know, what they did when they're done. And so that's a perfect way for them to make gifts for their teachers. So. Anyway, this was my, what I had for tonight. This is day three of 30 Days of Live. Tomorrow night I have, I'll do day four of lives, but I also have to be on my Chalk Live group at 8 o'clock. So I'm going to tr probably not be on here till after that or, it depends. Depends on what's going on. It's a Friday night. Well, let's see. Um, so tomorrow night, I don't know if I'll be doing a project or if I'll just be talking about, um, an opportunity or something about, I'll just open up the catalog and start talking about something to give you some more information about things. Um, so I might do that at an earlier date. I don't know. Just keep, keep tuned. You can always come back and look at the replay. Um, but I am determined to get the 30 days of live in. I am going to do this. I, like tonight I was exhausted and I thought, oh, I don't need to. No, this is a commitment. This is my job. This is my home business. This is what I do. I did this one on a live just a couple weeks ago. I love, or actually just last week, I think. I love the fact that he's got uh, the peace sign. Peace. So, all the information's above. All the transfers I used tonight are available on my website. If you have any questions, please pop them in the, the um, comment section, and I will get back to you. And as always, be kind to one another. Have a good night.